three, two, one, go. All right, morning, morning, peace, love, and happiness. Welcome to BTA. Welcome to BTA podcast episode number twenty-two, aka season two, number two. We're going with twenty-two because that's a lot less difficult. I am Ali, joined by Lachlan and Lachlan it's me. It's, and Yep, yep. That's it. They decided right now to start. Also, I think it's my neighbor's birthday. Happy birthday, Lachlan's neighbor. Wait, no, it's not my birthday. What the fuck are you talking about? You not like okay. <laughs> I'm just hearing someone singing "Happy Birthday," and I think it's the family that lives next door to me. So I think it's their daughter's birthday. Nice. Yeah. Hope they have fun. Anyways, how are you all doing? Well, how are you doing? <laughs> I am. I mean, I feel like all of my dogs are saying they're. I hearing one six, one five, and one seven. So I personally am somewhere between a seven and eight. Nice. I'll okay. say seven for that. I'm feeling a solid eight. You know, I've been enjoying reading week a lot. Damn. So yeah, yeah. Imagine not having reading week right now, bro. Um. Imagine being employed. Oh, Kelly said she's cooking. Okay. Okay. Well, that's something. Yeah, like everybody's busy right now, so uh, it's just me and Lachlan, who are perennially oh, just have free time. And the dogs are just going. So. Yeah. I'm sitting slightly farther away from them than I usually do, so hopefully that will be good. <laughs> Anyways, this episode brought to you by the following struggle feed, which I didn't even proofread yet. Um, you, t- I told you what it was, and you were like, "Yeah, just oh, send this, it. Has, this has this like whole at in this." Like, oh wait, no, let me open the second one, Mitch. <laughs> what are we just doing the second one? Yeah, let me just do the second one, so I don't have to, you know, show the skills whole at on the fucking podcast. Oh, hey, someone else showed up. Hey, that- Kelly. Kelly, you said you're cooking. What, what do you mean? I, did... I, I brought out headphones. Oh, nice. Okay. What are you cooking, Kelly? I'm making pan seared, uh, chicken thighs, and Alfredo. Ooh, Ooh nice. Man. Very nice. Thank you. Kelly, why are you on the Canby? What? Oh. Why are you on the Canby? Uh, I find it. It's in the podcast, I'll just... Ah. I am possibly um, four. Nice. Nice. Lab Kelly. <laughs> no? Oh, yeah. Because she's cooking, like, in the kitchen. Right. And sure. it, yeah. Yeah, Kelly, you're doing a lot better than me, right? Like, for dinner tonight, I'm making, like, leftover pizza that I have in the fridge. So... <laughs> you're not you're making not it, then. <laughs> What's that? You're not making you're it. You're not making it. Okay, but... There's still like some effort involved. Like I have to like take it out of the fridge, put it put it in the microwave. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have to wait. That's very hard. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, struggle to. Eat. Yeah, okay. this is just three paragraphs of me reading. I don't want to fucking read this. You were the one. You, it was your idea. No, you picked it out. Wait, what do you mean it's my idea? I told you to pick something out, and you're just like, yeah. I sure. just said. I had this one, and then you were like, okay, send it. And I was like, all right. I didn't realize it was just going to be like three paragraphs of me reading. Well, you played yourself. Read the damn tweet. At Lachlan Baka, aren't you the guy that told 500 me to buy drugs? What the fuck, man? Yeah, Lachlan Baka, you're also the guy that ran over that dog with a truck on purpose. Why would you do that? Bro, what the fuck? I'm you big contribution, Lachlan. You did a very good job reading. You have like two fucking words. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just Google it. Auntie wanted for tax fraud in like three different states. Pay your taxes, bro. I don't know how. Oh wait, oh it's just the wait. What? Kelly, I didn't come back. Yeah, I got just left and came back. Sorry. Oh, I didn't notice. Sorry, Kelly. Before we proceed, Kelly, have you watched One Division? I have not. I don't have Disney Plus. Neither do I. Oh, am I the only one with it then? Whoops. Yes, Jonathan, you were the only one with Disney Plus. Uh, well, I guess you can't really talk about one division then. Uh-oh. I mean, we can, but like, yeah, for legal reasons, I will say that I had a friend with Disney Plus. So let me borrow it. <laughs> no, don't talk about it. I want to watch it eventually. Okay, I probably okay. I mean, we probably weren't gonna spoil it, all things considered. Yeah, you know, let's like fuck it, lend you my Disney Plus or some shit because I don't even fucking use it. Just remind me to do that. <laughs> there was an idea yeah, I had. Thank to... you. There no. was an idea I wanted to like explore. Um, but like, 
I figured it would be kind of weird just to get the three of us on, but like since we were here, I actually did at one point want to like talk about the international student experience. I was saying we could do it with Jarrell to do like a more in general one, but since it's the three of us, we could just talk about like life in Canada. I wanted to do a YouTube video about that actually, but like you know what, it makes sense to do any podcast. Yeah, it's just that since this just so happens to be the three of us. Yeah, you know what, that's a lot better than what we had fucking planned. So. <laughs> uh, we can still talk about the Nintendo Direct after. Yeah, I guess so. What Kelly have, have literally just one division on the Nintendo Direct. Oh my goodness. Did you see mm-hmm. the Nintendo Direct, Kelly? No, I have no idea what you're talking <laughs> about, honestly. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> International student experience it is. Yeah. Lachlan, you go ahead, please. Um, I, I, I'm trying to flash out this idea more, but like, yeah, man. Nice. <laughs> But like, okay, yeah, so like, I'm serious. Like, a big part of the reason I went to like, Waterloo was specifically because they were like, a big Caribbean community. And I was like, that sounds fun. That sounds like a thing I could probably make. That would probably be good for me. So I went to, so yeah, I chose to go to Waterloo, not entirely for that reason, but like, in large part for that reason. And then... I don't know, because part of the reason I decided to go to Canada as well was that, like, I've heard, you always hear about how nice Canadians are and all that good stuff. And then I went to Canada and I started, like, meeting Canadians and, like, talking to Canadians. And then I was like, I kind of don't like Canadians. <laughs> and then I kind of came to a point where, like, all of my friends were Canadian um, or, like, a few Indian ones that I knew. Have you ever and told then... them that you don't like them because they're Canadian? I don't like the, I don't dislike them because they're Canadian. What and why are you racist? <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you. It's just certain aspects of like Canadian culture um that I don't take to. It's not even like fully Canadian culture, it's just like a few of the Canadians I met. But it's like I feel like I don't know, when I like started hanging out more with like other Caribbean people, like around I think it was around like reading week was probably when I first started like talking to like people more. And when I started, you know, making black friends that's why i first started like really feeling comfortable <laughs> what like, am i then wait a minute okay oh hi Sharma. hi hi you can mm-hmm. Sharma. More, more. Hi, you still have happiness how are you doing on the be? how are you doing on the okay how am i doing on the be? four nice and yeah, we said the same thing candy. yeah mm. Mm. What are we talking about today? The international student experience. <laughs> so you came uh, in at your time. Yeah. Yeah. Right up your wheelhouse. I can still speak house. on this topic. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be fair, we came up with this topic because it was like just the three of us at first. And we weren't sure if anyone else was coming. Okay. Well, I have a national student experience. You could switch that. You could like apply that to what we're talking about. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Luckett. But like, yeah, I was like just saying that, like, because in general, I at first I started trying to like just make friends with people around me. So like, I had you, and that was fine. But I'll then be, like, I'm just fine, Lachlan. What are you talking? <laughs> okay, but like, genuinely, like the first night where I like really felt like I don't know. There was like one night where I went out where like I randomly ended up going out with like Russ, Michelle, Kia, and, Mich- and Maya, who are like my part of my primary group group of like i guess other black people that i hang out with right and like that was like one of the first nights where i was like you know what? it's not so bad up here <laughs> and then like the more i got involved with like acs and like other caribbean people and people that are like me it's i feel like that's when you like really like you always see the memes i feel like about like especially about, like black people going to like without like that aren't predominantly black starting by hanging out with like mostly white people and then eventually like making their way to like having like an entire black friend group and yes. like that's legit my experience because like i feel like you hang out with like what's the people who are around you at first and then once you actually like find the people that are like you more than the people that are around you then you kind of start moving away from like the first set of people to like the people you feel more comfortable around but right. yeah mm-hmm is, is that it? Like, I mean, I feel like there's other things I want to, I could touch on, but like, um, I don't know. I feel like being at a school with a predominantly Caribbean society, also, you don't have to deal with as many, you don't have to deal with like as much ignorance and like racial type things and that kind of stuff. 
the worst I've gotten is the typical thing of people assuming that you're from Caribbean islands that you're not from. Jamaica. Like I've gotten, yeah, I got turned out a few times, mostly from people in our building, but also want some Rishi, which is weird. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 I remember that. He just always thought you from Trinidad until I told him yeah. that you were from Barbados. Yeah, I remember that. Because like after that interaction happened for like a good couple of weeks, I was like, "Am I wrong? Is Rishi Indian?" And then they asked you, and you're like, "No, Rishi's Trini." <laughs> Why would like both of you just like come to me to figure out where the other person is from? <laughs> because okay, but. <laughs> I feel like for me it was different because like I didn't grow up in the country that I thought he was from. <laughs> he grew up in Trinidad and then still thought I was Trini. Yeah, you know, like you just it's because you hung out with us so much. And like the rest well, like, of the Yeah, people. but like I mean I can understand like everyone else who asked me if I was Trini more so did it because they knew I was friends with you and they knew you were Trini. Because I think like Reed and Vani, I think both are like yeah, because right. Vani doesn't friends with me and Reed doesn't friends with you. I think Reed also saw me with your bags one day, so he was like, oh, well, he must be Trini, because he thought I was carrying, like, my bags. But then, like, I Wait, had... Wait, were you carrying my bags? Wait, what? This was, I think, when you went back for Christmas. I oh, right, 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 when you helped me move my stuff, right? Yeah. Right. But then I think, like, I got Jamaica one time from, like, an actual friend of mine, which was kind of upsetting, but, like, I also didn't talk to her, like, that much at the time. Like, we weren't fully that close, so I forgave it. The one I did not forgive was the guy that was I was consistently talking to in my D&D group for, like, seven straight months, who, after I came back to Barbados, asked me how things were in Bermuda. In Bermuda. <laughs> so how were things in Bermuda? Oh, were things in Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, like for the most part, I feel like I kind of after like a certain point, I just started like li literally all of my friends are either in ACS in UASA, which is the African society, or just in the Black society. And like those are like, yeah, nice. I don't know. I also have like a tier list of like the about like how friendly I find the different groups that on campus are, but like we'll get into that later. You have a tier list, like a hierarchy ranking. Like a, what do you mean, like a like a Maslow's hierarchy of needs kind of thing? Like, no, as in like you? in terms of like just ranking the groups on campus as to how friendly I find them. Right. Okay. Yeah. Jonathan, Dimitri, Ali, why did you choose to go to university? Oh no, I have told you the story already, <laughs> haven't I? I don't know if I know the story. Have you told the podcast? I've not told, but I've told you, right? Like you know why? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you the story. Back in 2016, I met a young man. Well, actually, I didn't meet him then, but I became friends with a young man. Actually, it was before that, 2015. Oh, my God. Maybe it was 14. Oh, I story. I know the story. Yeah. Back in 2014, I became friends with a gentleman by the name of Adrian Sampson. To this day, we are still friends. But <laughs> when I got this scholarship, <laughs> and I was deciding about like, schools to go to, I was, you know, trying to narrow it down. And I think I had it mostly narrowed down to a couple places in the US, maybe somewhere in England, because that was like my mom's dream for me forever to just go to England, because she thought I would fit right in. I don't know why she would think that, but. And then Canada. I was like, yeah, you know, it doesn't make sense going to the US because Trump is president and I don't want to fucking live like that. <laughs> and I was right. I was completely vindicated in that belief. I don't want to live like that, bro. Yeah, nobody can change my mind on like that. Like, I was completely right to just not I didn't even know to America. But yeah, like, I was considering, like, New York and California. But, like, you know, I, I did not want to live in Trump's America. Yeah. And then, well, Europe is just fucking cool all the time. I didn't know why I thought that was the case for Europe and not, you know, Canada. But my dumb ass was <laughs> like, yeah, Canada's, you know, I winter's before. not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> I okay to be fair. I feel like UK. I've been. I've never been to UK in the winter, but like I've been UK in like the fall. UK fall is so much more depressing than Canadian winter. Exactly. Anyways, so I had an hour down to like University of Toronto. Like that was all I was setting on. Mm -hmm. And then I'll tell you, Samson is like Ali. Let me go to the University of Waterloo. I was like, what? Why? <laughs> And like he gave me like his whole laundry list of reasons. Like he's doing his best to convince me to come to Waterloo. I was like, you know what? Sure. I'll, I'll fucking do it. And so like the plan was like, there was a group of us. It was me, Samson, Shane, and also Rishi and Lala. Right? Those were the people that I knew. And well, I knew Kelly too. Sorry, Kelly. 
<laughs> you, Kelly, too. Thank you. Kelly was also yeah. there. But, like, <laughs> the, main, the main fact is, like, yeah, I'll go with these fellas and we'll, like, fucking live together so I don't have to worry about finding roommates and shit. And, like, one of the main things that prompted it to convince me was, like, he talked about, like, rent prices and shit. That, uh, yeah, what it was, like, a smaller town in Toronto is, so you'd pay less mm-hmm. in rent. And, you know, you'd have the rest of us. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm on board. Anyways, Lala ended up, like, fucking going to Toronto anyways. So I was like, shit, I could have gone there. But, you know, I'm still here with the boys. We live in Waterloo. Everything's good. Until we decided to, like, visit the university. No, you're not. You can. You would, though, like, my life would be worse off without you, Kelly. I don't get it wrong. Like, I appreciate you as a friend. It's just like, you didn't, like. That's the nicest thing you ever said to Kelly. That is very true. I'll keep a couple of but yeah, like, like I don't mean any offense when I say like Kelly like wasn't a big pull factor to like go to what right? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, like there's nothing wrong with me saying. You knew when he said that there was going to be a bot. No, there's, there's nothing wrong with yeah, that's why I decided fine. to interrupt. It's just fine. Yes, it's. <laughs> Kelly's my friend and all, right? It's just you know, I wasn't like thinking of Kelly when I was making the decision. You know, like, why would I? But yeah. Jeez. Oh god! I know, but you're saying it in like such a way and I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> How would you see it? What? How would you, you see it? Oh. I mean, I wouldn't say it because if I <laughs> had to go to a school and because Kelly and I were and still are really close, like Charles Form 6 and everything. And if I had the opportunity, I would have probably go where Kelly was going because right, right. That's what you know. Like, Kelly is to you. Know... Kelly is to use what like Samson is to me, right? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Like Samson yeah. is my Kelly, basically. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that is a very strange way. To Which put does it make sense because he is short for a man. Mm-hmm. Samson is no Samson. He, if he's born, he's just be kind of tall, you know. <laughs> he part mm, is okay. yeah. <laughs> If he's stretched a little bit, then, you know, he might reach, like, six feet. But... Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, we just slandered something. I will slander Thompson. Anyways, yeah, like, we ended up visiting Toronto. And it's unique with yeah. Toronto. And me and Thompson were both like, we should have fucking came here instead. What are we doing in fucking Waterloo? Huh. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, we both just kind of regret coming to Waterloo, but we're making the most of it, you know? Damn, okay. Mm-hmm. And, like, the experience itself has been... Fine. Like, as Bakun said, you know, Canadians have a reputation of being really nice people. That's just not, like, in... how to say it, right? You have this okay, the way that I the way that I formulate it is, it's not necessarily that, they're not necessarily nice so much as they are polite. Yeah, because, like, Canada has a very big service industry, and they pride mm-hmm. themselves on that a lot, right? The service industry is very hospi- hospitable. There's mm-hmm. a lot of hospitality. Um, like, Canadian workers are, like, very nice. Canadian people themselves yeah. are not that nice. It's like... Like, diet Americans, like, right? Like, yeah. a lot of them oh, are just, like, know. vehemently racist and shit. Like, yeah. it's not that nice. No, like, I feel like the way that I kind of experience Canadians, like, one of the things that I have about them is, like, it's not necessarily, like, they're necessarily like fully accepting of everyone else because they always pray. I feel like I've always seen Canada prided on like being like accepted of people like from like all cultures and stuff. It's more so that I think they kind of just ignore differences. Yeah, exactly. They're very facetious about it, I would think. Yeah. So it's like they pride themselves a lot, I think, on like diversity and like all that. But all it really is is like you come there and it's like Instead of, like, they're going to, like, celebrate you for, like, being different from everyone else, it's more like you're just going to come there and they're just going to look at the things that you have in common with them. Right. Like I said, the guy that I talked to for seven months who then still asked me how things were in Bermuda, even though I've talked about, like, my home before, just because they've never really, like, gone out of their way to, like, learn about, like, anything about me, despite the aside from the things that we had in common. Listen, they both saw it be, like, I make, I mix it up sometimes, too. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, I was able to make friends, you know. Like, I knew Kelly from Bebo on, but I made friends with, like, Kelly's friends and uh, met some other people, too. Some neighbors yeah. and whatnot. Some cool people. 
And I was there. Yeah, the realization is is that like yeah, I made like zero friends that are like Canadian Canadian. Like all the friends I have yeah. up here are just people mm-hmm. from back home and the Caribbean in general. So all of my Canadian friends are like people with either African or Caribbean parents. That too. Yeah. It's like yeah, like I don't care that much for like the average Canadian person. Like I don't think I can connect with them on like any meaningful level. Stuff yeah. like that. So mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Kelly, do you have anything to add? Kelly? Sorry, give me a sec. Hans currently in chicken. Yeah, she's still cooking. So. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sharma, you'll like, be proud of me. Uh, just, just the fact that I heard Kelly is cooking, Kelly has hands in chicken, I am already proud. Kelly Aww. should turn on the camera and do a cooking stream. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was one time I remember I made Alfredo and I called Sharma after because I was panicking. I added water to my Alfredo, by the way, in in um in place of milk. <laughs> Sharma <laughs> did thoroughly reprimand me. <laughs> Kelly, you would you would put like water in your cereal to replace milk too, or no, 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 no. Oh, we had milk, right? No, shut up. Wait, we had milk, right? But it wasn't a lot. So when I added it, mm-hmm. I realized that's not enough milk. So then mm-hmm. I looked up on the internet what to do. And it said add water. So I added water. Nice. Yeah. This is why <laughs> I'm making <laughs> leftover pizza for dinner. Because I don't oh, have any milk yeah. in my fridge. Hey, for this like is a week why now. we live and we learn. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've also realized that Sharma's, when I feel like I'm proud of myself for doing something in the kitchen, Sharma's also the first person I message. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I was just, I was just, uh, and, I'm chat. not sure how I feel about that. Like, I'm slightly proud, but it also emphasizes the fact that everybody thinks of me as the mom friend. And I always have conflicting. Not the mom, the tante. Sure. The t- no, 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 you shut up. <laughs> Only says that. Energy. <laughs> don't you literally have as a rule right now? Mom. I don't know. Oh, no. Do you, yeah, you do. You have tante shots. I also have shy <laughs> mom. You could be both then. <laughs> you know how Tanti said? Huh. No, she has Tanti charms. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yes, he now said that. Oh, I was not paying attention. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> but also, yeah, because Sharma's the only person who really, like, actually, like, cares when I cook. No, the thing is, Sharma has her life together in terms of she can do many things that we can, yeah. as basic human beings, cannot do. I don't know about y'all, but, like, I am doing fine. Ali? You okay. are, as you say, <laughs> cooking reheated pizza tonight, okay? Yeah. There's nothing no, wrong with eating leftover pizza for dinner. It's not an oven. You're reheating it in a microwave. I don't have an oven, so... uh Sounds like a you problem. It is. I don't know why we rented this place. You don't have a fucking <laughs> oven. <laughs> yeah. We didn't think to figure that out before. No, he's doing it all and he's like, hey, this place doesn't have an oven. And then we still decided to release on the same day anyway, so it's like... Yo! Oh my god. I might soon have an air fryer. Nice. Hey. Yes. Are we waiting for Let something to come you back to buy I one. might have it. Because my sister... Because um, my father likes fried stuff, right? So I fry it ho- Like, I make stuff and I fry it home. But she was like, I find... You know, that's not good. So she was, And his birthday is coming up. So she was like, I think I'm buying him an air, fry- air fryer. But in my head, I'm like... I is the one that is cooked. So you basically buy me an air fryer and that's basically my air fryer. You know? <laughs> nice. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I'm soon going to be better than everybody. Just saying. Yeah. I mean, I have an air fryer already. You do? You, okay. Wow. <laughs> you said I'm not <laughs> aerial kind of tone. Did okay. you just I mean, say you wanted air to air be better than everybody? Sure, what are you talking about? Like, can you even use an air fryer? Yes, I've used it before. Air fryers are so hard. Sharma <laughs> would make excellent meals in that air fryer that you cannot even begin to conceive in your mind. All right. Thank you, Kelly. You ha- you are my hype man. Okay. <laughs> oh, back to my uh, high school international my, uh, experience. Student. International student yeah. experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where do you want me to start? <laughs> Anyway, you like want to start, one. you go ahead, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I didn't have a choice where I wanted to go. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah, because my sister already comes here. 
I was just told that uh, I I go on Waterloo. Yeah. Why did your sister and go to Waterloo then? Because she wanted to. Damn, that's, that's already better than me, so. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and in terms of what I wanted to do, I didn't even apply for any other degree other than the one I'm currently doing because I was told, oh yeah, you'll get a no, we're not applying for backup, it's not too expensive. Nice. Mind you, my sister well, I mean, applied to probably like five places, huh? Oh. Hmm. Well, yeah, what were you going to say, Sharma? N- I, um... I mean, I was going to say, yeah, like, you would have gotten in. But then you say that Jordan got the opportunity to apply to more. Mm. And then I was like, oh. Mm. (laughs) Ellie, was it you that had the application scare? Where it just, like, took forever for you to get accepted? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I remember that. That was so fucking stressful. because I did not apply to anywhere else, you know, you can imagine how stressful that would have been. I was like yeah. very anxious on your behalf. That was so fucking scary, dude. Yeah, yeah that's kind of a Waterloo like problem in general because they take forever to respond. No, like I got accepted like instantly, dude. Like I didn't have to wait. No, to I got it. But, like for most people, uh, like the average person, they, they take forever to respond. Yeah. Did but did Kelly? Did you apply earlier than Ali or? She did later. She did. I did. Yeah, that's yes, did. so. That's why it would have taken longer because her application would be pushed down the list as more applications come out. No, no, no. It was like the rounds of like applications and like the way they work is that like Kelly's yeah. application got delayed until the, like the last wave of acceptances. Why? Mm-hmm. As in, we like it depends on like you know like the application class and like how competitive it is. And yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so. she's a plant mm-hmm. engineering, and this is like an engineering C at school, so. Hmm. But yeah, like I got mine like full sweeve, right? Like comparatively, it was like months before Kelly did. I mean, it was just like, like you know, like my worrying was done. I was just like worrying for Kelly. It was like, yeah, is this gonna work out or no? Mm. Yeah. Speaking of things not working out. I should message Samson and ask him permission to tell the fucking credit card story. The what? Oh my, that doesn't sound good. Mm. Let me just... I need to tell the story of Samson and me at the Halloween party. You go ahead, do it. <laughs> right now? Do it right fucking now, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. So... Just a whole episode of us talking was... about Samson. <laughs> this is the Samson podcast. But yeah, this was... Um, Can I make on Samsung first before you start? Oh, shoot. I've met him once, and that was when I was invited over by his place, me and Ali, to eat food, and he didn't show up. Yeah, he didn't day. fucking show up. <laughs> <laughs> you were just eating yep. food that he made without him. It was so funny. Why is he like this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, like, my Samson story is technically a Shane and Samson story. Like, it's more so, uh, to be honest, the entire thing is more so Shane's fault and Samson's fault, I will admit. Or actually, no, no, it's more Samson's fault than Shane's. It's one of their faults. Oh my god. I but anyway, what happened? It like a Samson thing to do. Yeah, I think it was probably Samson. But anyway, we were at a Halloween party. Um, me, like, I had gone. It was me, Shane, Samson. Well, like, and some other people. But, like, I was there and I mainly ended up spending most of my time with Shane and Samson, right? Mm-hmm. So. Um, after a certain point, I decide, I'm, like, Shane tells me, yo, we're leaving. And I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna stick around, because I got, like, more friends and stuff that are here. But then, I went to the bathroom, and after going to the bathroom, I was like, I peed out all of my social energy. Mm-hmm. So I no longer wish to be here. And so I went to Samson, I went to, yeah, I think I went to Samson, and I was like, yo... I changed my mind. I'm going to go back to Waterloo with you. And they were like, cool. And I was like, cool. Cool. (laughs) So I was like, I'm just going to go. I think I went to say goodbye to someone or something. And then I was like, yeah, I will join you in a bit. And they were like, all right. So I did that. I left. And then I came back. And I waited outside, like, by the exit to the place. And 
no one showed up. I was waiting there for a while, <laughs> and no one showed up. No one like came outside. So I was like, well, that's weird. Maybe they're still inside. So I went back inside to check for them. They were not there. So I was like, this is strange. Because they said that they would wait for me. So, and I didn't want to go outside because they told me that, like, if I left the party, I would not be able to come back in. So I was like, well, I don't want to leave and then not be able to come back in. But at the same time, like, I don't want to, like, stay here by myself. (laughs) So I was, like, really confused this entire time. Like, I didn't know what to do. And then next thing you know, I'm standing, waiting, and I just hear a knock on the door. And I turn around and it's Shane, like, it's Samson, like, rushing me to get outside. (laughs) And he's like, yo, we got halfway down the street. And then I realized, wait a second, we forgot Lachlan. (laughs) 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 So what had happened was I told Samson I was coming with him. He was like, sure. So he was supposed to tell Shane. He and Shane walked halfway down the street, were almost to the bus stop, and then when they were almost by the bus stop, Samson realized, wait a second, I was supposed to walk back with Lachlan, and I forgot him. (laughs) So then they had to run all the way back home, all the way back to the place, to then get me so that I could go back home with them. Nice. And yeah, every time Samson tells this story, his one defense is, hey, at least I came back. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I came back. <laughs> Why did they leave me in the first place? They just forgot. They got carried away and they just walked away. Uh-huh. Like, Sharma, like you asked somebody happened. already. <laughs> I can't. I know that I've done it. Oh my yes, fucking god! Oh my, right. I was. Joking. I can't. I can't I remember joking. the situation or the story, but I know that I've like forgotten. I had to leave somewhere with somebody, and I had to go back and then leave again. I was literally oh. joking, Sharma. What the fuck? I that was definitely a joke. My god! <laughs> it's just Sharma? absent-mindedness. I oh my. Every time I've ever went quote unquote clubbing with Sharma. Uh, I was on huh? antibiotics and I could not drink, so mm. I just uh, Good time. was Sharma's um, oh, wing woman. Okay, help her. Help her. Wing no, woman. I threw yeah. up a lot. Kelly she, was just my niece. Oh, mm. oh. Yeah. Mm. That's a lot less exciting. And I, I don't know where I, I remember. Um, I don't know where like my wallet was or my shoes was. No, I didn't know I, I anything. Kept up a bit, though. Yeah, I I, I know everybody else reach. did, but I didn't know. And um I that night I spent night by a friend. I gave mine home. mother, I think. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah yeah I had this my night by a friend that night and um, when I woke up in the morning I was like shit where's my shoes where's my wallet and then it was right there I was like wow everybody was so nice <laughs> okay <laughs> anyways fellas we're both halfway through say, go ahead I just want to point out how much of a good friend I am because <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank yeah. me. And very true. I'm very gonna true. point it out because at some point in the night, because at the beginning it was about five of us going to Sharma to the bathroom. I was the only yeah. one that was going to Sharma to the bathroom. Yeah. How Everybody often just stopped. They bathroom? just. Oh boy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kelly's a good friend, right? Like when Sharma started throwing up, Kelly helped her out. When I started Every throwing up at parties, my friends started filming. So, oh <laughs> do our- yes. that's a diff- that's, a, that's also a difference in girls and boys because yeah. you would never see that in a, in a girls friend group unless all of them are horrible friends. <laughs> I still have the video; it's, really, it's very good. 
All right. But yeah, we're about halfway through, fellas. Go ahead, monitor your water break. Oh, I never gave my I mean, tier of different groups at Waterloo. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to leave because I'm going to eat. Oh. Good night. Uh, right. Thanks for coming. Goodbye, Thanks for podcast. podcast. Yeah. 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 Good. So my tier list of how easy it was to find with certain people. <laughs> it goes <laughs> at the top. <laughs> the easiest people to make friends with are Caribbean people. Like, I was gonna say Caribbean black people, but it's Caribbean on a whole. They're all pretty easy to get along with. Like I'm from there. Caribbean people are generally pretty welcoming. So it was like easy to get along with them. After that, I would probably say the African society, because it's again like I'm not necessarily African, but I am black, so I guess I'm African adjacent. He's round up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like in general, they're also a really friendly people. Like, they, I have a lot of friends in that group as well. They're really, like, energetic, really happy people, and they're really easy to, like, blend in with and whatnot. And especially since Caribbean culture and African culture is kind of similar, so that was fine. Um, after that is, like, Canadian black people, because, again, it's just easier to make friends with black people for me because I feel like we sell each other out, in a way. My first couple of weeks at Waterloo was literally just, like, fixating on, like, every black person I saw. Um, and that's how I became friends with Michelle, honestly. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, because we were in the story of how I made friends with Michelle is literally we were in like a silent disco, like party type thing. And I was there with Russ, Tia, and Shane. And then Michelle, I guess, saw a bunch like three black people together. And then she was by herself. So then she just came by us and then she joined our group. And then that's how we all became friends. Oh, Chelsea was there too. Uh, and then, yeah, so after all the black people, I would say it's the Indians, as in Indians from India, because <laughs> I found that they're also very friendly and very easy to get along with, at least Why to did me. you fucking say it like that? I don't know, I'm so used to, like, as this thing. Post, as opposed to Indians from the so Americas? Like, no, I'm so used to, like, distinguishing between, like, Indian Indians and Trini Indians in my head for some reason. Right. We're Trinidadians. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, like, fucking shit about India, dude. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. But, yeah. So, I'll say like, the Indians, who are... They're way too easy to make friends with. It's weird. They're very friendly like, people, yeah. Yeah. They also all know each other, but, like, they're not, like, cookie or anything, which I like. Because, like, I've met, like... There's, like, a bunch of Indian people that I know from around campus. Like, there's one girl that randomly sat next to me in a lecture. There's, like, two of them that lived in the building with us. There's one girl that I met during orientation that randomly introduced me to like a friend of hers. And I then they should probably know that all of them know each other. And like they all hang out together and stuff, even though I met them at like all very different places. And then of course, as we've already established, well, we haven't established this, but Rishi also is one of them <laughs> because Rishi always used to hang out with them. Yeah. They basically adopted yeah. him. They, they stole him from us. The like the most I ever saw of Rishi was in our building because yeah, yeah. Because of the girl that he was with at the time, but yeah. And then after all of them, all right. What was it? I said the Indians. Where did I get to? Indians. That's where I got to. Sorry. Yes. And then after them, because they're those are all like very friendly groups. Like I find it really easy to make friends with like the Indians. And then after that, I would probably say like Canadian white people, because oh. like. They're like they're just kind of there, I guess. Like they're not. I don't think they're ne- necessarily like difficult to make friends with. They're just not as like welcoming as like the other people. Because like we said already, it's not necessary that they're like really hospitable or anything. Because I'm re- used to Bajans, and Bajans are extremely hospitable. Like once they like dictate that you can be one of them, like it's really easy to get in to like get in with like a group of Bajans. We're very welcoming people. Um. So compare that to like Canadians. They're just really polite, and they will, like, respect you if you have to interact with them. But, like, I wouldn't necessarily say that, like, I ever felt, like, fully welcomed by them if I didn't, like, already know them. Like, some of them are cool, but, like, for the most part, like, yeah. And then at the bottom of them, of course, are, like, Chinese people. (laughs) Hmm. Yeah, they're just, they keep to themselves a lot. They're very hard to approach. They can't just stick to themselves and do their own thing. That's about it. And yeah, that's my tier list. Nice. Yes. Alright. Uh, we don't really have anything else planned, do we? 
Nintendo Direct. Yeah, you said you're not gonna do that because like Kelly yeah, so uh... No. Oh, I can talk about my friend. Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Take the floor. Have you made any? Nice. Well, mm-hmm. okay, I can rephrase that a little bit. You have your roommates. What are you talking about? It was okay. Right. That's now. Right? You have roommates. Awesome. Awesome. Are you friends with them? It's, yeah, I actually am. This is great because I was so nervous. But like before in school, I had one day um, that I stopped because I met her on the first day of class going down the elevator. And we just happened to be in the same class. Um, but at least just sink on. To... Was that noise? What? Like, there's some like background noise. Sorry, that's I have me cooking well. chicken. Oh, okay. Um, and that was great and everything. We were together on projects ever, but then for these two when studying online, she was just she couldn't really cope for the online school just a lot. So she said she was going to take the term off and she would keep it the next term that they're doing it, just to give herself a break. So we're no longer in the same class. Oh. I have acquaintances of people I know in class, but not friends. So really, I didn't have any friends except Ali and Nalini. Yes, sir. Big up Nalini. Um, and I here. And it was really great because the girls here are really nice. So I made friends here, finally. Two years into my program. So. That's cool. I've not made like a single friend in my program at all. That sounds like a you problem. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. All of my friends are either in math or in arts. I don't know why. Kelly is an engineer. We, Kelly well, sounds like, in... What? There's a few outliers. Cause, like, there's Kelly and there's like Shania who's in environment. But most of my friends are either in math or arts. There you go. Because I feel like all of, like the... Yeah, it's hard to like make friends with the engineers to me. Because I made friends with Kelly. I don't have any I friends in math, you know? You have me, damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. No, you can't talk to engineers without engineers bringing up like how much more difficult their work is. Or... Oh, no, I've never actually had that. At least with all the engineers I talk to, they're pretty tame about that kind of no, stuff. No, all the engineers I talk to are insufferable about it. <laughs> uh, then again, I also just don't... Talking about... I came and helped you put together a computer. I was talking about Samson, Kelly, but if, you know, if you shoot fits... <laughs> You just said all engineers. What? <laughs> I don't know if I hang out with um not that much. You don't know, hear it that often, to be honest. No, dude, like outside of the people in this Discord server, like something is probably the individual I talk to the most. Huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. The only person I talk to through WhatsApp is probably Samson and my family. Really? <laughs> yeah. In order to like probably just get something in Discord and be done with it. Why isn't he in the Discord, actually? Because they asked me to do that, and I was like, yeah, I'll do that, and then I forgot. So, um... Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah all right. <laughs> Good job, me. <laughs> you... You... Okay. <laughs> Is there, like, any other, like, specific element to the student experience that we could talk about? I mean... I don't know, like, to me, the biggest aspect of it is, like, adjusting to, like, people and, like, adjusting to... I mean, we could also talk about, like, adjusting to, like, life in Canada on a whole versus, like... Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I've always considered myself to be an independent person, but you don't really truly... You don't, like, truly realize what that means until you're actually on your own. Yeah. Yeah, And it's not... It hasn't been difficult for me, but it's certainly been an adjustment. So it's, like... You know, just the familiarity of like having people around you that you could, you know, I don't really like talk to people that often, but you know, some is better just than be none. comfortable with. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like just like not seeing my brothers, not seeing my mom and my dad and stuff like that. Not seeing my cats. I miss my cats a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that. I mean, to be honest, I never really had to deal with that. Like, I don't know, to me, adjusting to being on my own wasn't that bad. Because I feel like, at least at home, I kind of keep to myself a lot. So yeah, like, when like I was it at- wasn't bad or difficult. It was just an adjustment, you know? It was just yeah, a change. Just- hmm. I mean, um. I take myself to be a really quiet person, antisocial even. Mm-hmm. But it was just hard adjusting to not have specifically, like, my parents around. Hmm. 
I mean, they give me money. That's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lachlan. <Lachlan's. laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. I was, I would always hear those people who are like, damn, like, I miss, like, not having my parents around or I miss, like, not having these people around. To me, I didn't have that. I kind of just, like, moved over to, like, I just, like, came over and I was like, okay, well, now I'm just here. And then I kind of, like, I was, like, obviously, like, upset about being alone. But, like, it wasn't necessarily, like, I need... It's not necessarily, like, I was missing anyone particular when I, like, got there. Right. I think it's different to guys. That, oh, crap. Wait, hold on. Guys and girls. Because guys are granted a different level of freedom. Mm-hmm. That girls won't have. That's true, too, so, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to more or less rely on my parents for everything at home. And when I yeah. came here, I was forced to do everything by myself. Right. Which was just a hard adjustment. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, you're definitely like closer to, to your parents than I'm like with my parents. And I guess Lachlan too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I, I talk I... to my mom like, what, like twice a month? If you know. <laughs> I feel like I, I would come. Whole... Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, the most common message I would get from my parents is them asking me if I'm alive because they have not heard from me in too long. Yeah. I had an entire quarrel with my mother this morning because I have, I bake quite a bit and I have recipes just on slips of paper that are cork, a uh, pinch of cork board that we have at home. And they're very dainty, obviously, because I just pick up the piece of paper, bring it to me to the kitchen counter and bake. So it has like flour and them, oil, just everything on the sheets of paper. And my mother was like, she's going to throw them away. And I'm like, no, do not get rid of me for one. I will be coming back. I need them. She's like, no, <laughs> they're going back. And Christ. that was my entire, uh, yes, I think she's just trying to erase my presence from home now. <laughs> and that's when I got kicked out of the house. <laughs> you're going to go back and your room is going to be like a fucking TV room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like right now, my room back home is just, it's just the cats there. That's all they do with it. Mm. I mean, my my, go no, sorry. <laughs> my dad was trying to um, do this whole. He got bored, not having us at home. He just had nothing to do, so he decided to you know do a whole clean up of the entire house. So I think he packed away and got rid of a lot of our stuff in our rooms. Oh my god! It's mm-hmm. probably just there. <laughs> Uh, yeah. My cats just have like my entire seven foot long bed to themselves. They're just Damn. taking over the room now, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't move. Your bed is seven feet long? Yeah, I had to get it custom built. Because I can't fit Whoa. on a regular queen size, yeah. I also have a yeah, custom built bed. So yeah. I fit on any bed. Yes, Kelly. We, we know. know. We know, Kelly. It's okay. My bed up until just now, like my bed at home, it's a bunk bed. That I've slept on since I was a kid. Okay, like, you, I mean, you never have to, like, learn these struggles I, of, like, finding jeans that fit, Kelly, you know? Like, takes all this oh in God, those pants. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Finding pants? Oh my God. Pants are fucking horrible for tall people, dude. It's such a struggle. Especially for, like, us, because we're, like, skinny tall people, right? Yeah. Finding, like, I will send the meal it. that I just finished make to the BTA chat. Oh, because I thought of it yeah. that I... Right. I, I accomplished this all while talking to you people. <laughs> Very talented okay. multitasker, yes. Yes, sir. Hire her engineering firms. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would really like to hire right now. Yeah, you have a co op team next. Yeah. How's that going? Huh? Has it been as, like, as miserable great. as mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, mine, wasn't, mine was pretty miserable too. I just had the advantage of. You know, not looking for work in Canada and also having personal connections. It looks very nice, Lachlan. I mean, Kelly. Yeah. Okay. It's because Lachlan was yeah, speaking. We... Well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I think we could call it early because it's like 50 minutes right now. So it's like close enough to an hour. Sure. Anybody have like anything yeah. else they want to see? Um... Um, I'll really learn to cook. God damn it. I know how to cook, I just don't cook often, right? Like, what I'll do is I cook for like three days in advance. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, your three days worth of food? Okay. Why are you eating cold reheated pizza? No, like, I like alternate. Sometimes I buy food in between, right? But like for the past four days before that, I was eating 
beef burgers and beef tacos. Just reheated beef over and over again. Because I bought two pounds of beef at the grocery store and I didn't know what to do with the it's extra pound. Good. Like, no, so I, I was just eating a beef. Lasagna. Oh, a lasagna. I don't have an oven, Kelly. You've been over this. Oh, crap, yeah. <laughs> so I was just eating, like, fucking cold beef. My goodness, you could have come, I would have made a lasagna for you. No, it's okay, Kelly. Trust me, I am fine on my own. And, like, I don't even okay. believe that. <laughs> what? I don't know if I believe him being fine on his own. No, I'm good, like... Yeah, I don't believe that at all. After I finish the pizza, I'm gonna put the meatballs to defrost, and then I'll make spaghetti oh and meatballs Lord. for the next three days, that'll last me. So you mean more beef? That's... it's pork, but yeah. I'll have to red meat. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get fucking out of on the state of your room, when I came to visit... It's clean now! Let me take a picture pizza. right now. Um... <laughs> I, up. I would not I say up. you do a living by yourself. I cleaned up. Listen, I cleaned I up. mean, if it's anything like how your room was in Waterloo. I mean, your room in Waterloo wasn't that bad when I was there. Yeah, I just had like a, yeah, a trash pile. Bad. Like, it was a generalized okay, pile. Okay, no, the trash pile was a problem. <laughs> it was. <laughs> look, look, I cleaned up, right? Damn, there's nothing there. Exactly, it's just more altar because I don't have anything to put the altar on, so it's it's on the monitor's box. Why don't you put it on one of the stolen chairs? I have to give it back. Are you stealing chairs? Ah. Yeah. Criminal Alley strikes again. I didn't steal it, it was just in my room, so like, yeah, I'll fucking use it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I'll Kelly's closing remarks. So go ahead. Um, I feel like there was another thing I was going to mention that I forgot what it was. Good job. Okay, I'll just see. I know how to cook. I just don't cook often. It's fine. You don't have okay. to worry about me. Yeah, I still do. <laughs> Remember, from everybody here at BTA Podcast, this has been episode number 22. Good night. Good night. Night. Good. And done.